Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's a gorgeous morning. Um, and before I start with my spiel, uh, I'm just gonna do the first morning chores, get those out of the way. Now, with those out of the way, a um, bit of a confession to make this week, really. Um, having a bit of a tough time. Hay fever has struck, um, and it's it's hit me hard. <laughs> my eyes, uh, I don't know if you can see, but my eyes are just, like, ruined at this time of year. They are so itchy the whole time, they're kind of swollen. It feels like things are getting on top of me. Everywhere you look, the pests are kind of taking over, everything's covered. Um, even though I come down every morning, I still try and try and keep on top of it. It could it could be a lot worse, but um, yeah, I'm 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 really starting to struggle. the The main reason why I'm up here as well is to get repotting. Um, there's some things, particularly the tomatoes. Look at this; <laughs> they really need potting on. So um, yeah, I thought I'd make some time this morning and get that done before I go back to work. Got this one as well. Courgette needs to go out today, so yeah, this morning a bit of potting on planting out yeah hopefully that'll make me feel a bit better <laughs> um it really uh like i say it could be a lot worse you know i think i'm still pretty much on top of the plot it's just very demoralizing the weeds are so quick to grow back this time of year um everywhere you look uh, we've lost plants to the um the beetles the flea beetles that kind of thing so it's just one of those things. You've got to keep on trucking. You're going to have losses. I just... It's a shame because this is somewhere that I'm meant to come and enjoy, you know. But yeah, we're going to keep... Keep our heads up and... Get doing some stuff. One thing that I'm quite positive about is... Um, the weed growth in this bed has been non-existent. You can see it's... A clean canvas. Uh, yeah, let's get this courgette in. Find of a new home. It's always good doing this because you get to see the moisture content underneath. I mean, I haven't watered this bed at all, um, ever, literally ever, and you can see it's still very moist. So it's a good sign. Once again, means I might be overwatering some of the plants, if anything. Also, think it's about time for these butternut squash to go out. You can never say that. But butternut squash. Butternut squash. <laughs> tomorrow. 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 Time for the butternut squash to go out. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Not tomorrow. You can see as well, I planted a little marigold here earlier. So we've got a few more things in the ground, um, let's get repotting stuff in the greenhouse. So repotting, the ambition was to get these guys into bigger pots. Now the key thing about repotting is you can't go from a tiny tiny little pot into a massive pot because the plant will basically stop growing up on top. It goes into kind of shock as it spreads out its roots, it focuses on root growth instead of vegetative growth, it really slows it down. So you get much, much, much better results from upgrading the pots incrementally. So for example, this one, I mean, tomatoes are fast growers, so they can take a big increase. They're not like chilies. Chilies are a bit more sensitive. Um, so this one can probably go from this tiny pot into this big one. No problem. We'll do that. Now the, tr the, the trick, uh, the, the thing I'm kind of 
hesitating on is the kind of middle sized ones. So this is already a lot bigger and I'm wondering about whether or not this could go from this pot straight into a great big grow bag. Now the issue I have with the grow bags is I only really have premium soil. I've only really got Jack's Magic um, and these are huge. They're like 40 litres so they'll take up, they'll take away a massive load of compost. So a bit confused about what to do about that. I think ideally I'd want some cheaper compost, some um, kind of bulky stuff mix it with Jack's Magic and then put those in the grow bags for these guys. Um, so for today, I'm not going to get stressed out about it because I need to go to work. Um, just going to do these little ones, do the things that definitely need repotting on, um, that are in way too small pots. And yeah, let's do potting mix. So same thing as ever. Now I think this one's a cucumber. Um, I've kind of run out of room for them, but just repotting this one on to keep it alive. Now the issue I'm having with the chili peppers is that I want to put one of them in the quad grow. I've got a quad grow slot free. Um, but if they went from these tiny little pots straight into quad grow now, I know that they would suffer a lot. Um, it's a shame they are really far behind. I mean, this time of year coming into June now, they should be in their final pots, um, which is normally like a 10 litre pot. So we'll see how these go. We will see. I think I'll leave them in here for two, three weeks um, and then probably put them, one of them, the one, whichever one does better in the quad grow. Uh, and we'll kind of pray for the chilies. So, potting up done, got a few things potted on, uh, a few things planted in the ground, feeling a little bit better. Um, it's important to try and do what you can, you know, you can't win them all. But yeah, I did get the chance earlier this week to come up and sort through the compost, see how that was doing, see what was going on in there. So let's have a look at that. It was quite interesting, maybe a little bit disappointing, but um, yeah, let's have a look. So the sides are off and I've had a little tidy up. Let's go and have a look at what's going in, what's going on in here. Um, the main reason I wanted to do this was to kind of see whether or not stuff was actually breaking down, whether or not it was an effective compost pile. Um, I also wanted to check the moisture level because I haven't watered this at any point. It does look pretty good. I'm going to dig through this and tell you what I think. We might also get our first potato harvest today. Obviously these compost piles have been a real kind of pain, it's been quite difficult. So I was interested to see if it was breaking down, and it is, um, so it does mean I should keep on with it. I was wondering whether or not to uh, kind of forsake it and maybe just compost back at home. But, um, it does seem worth doing, so what I'm going to do, get the bay back on here secured, nice and flush, now all the weeds are gone. And it should keep it nice and tight in there, that was another reason that this has been annoying, it's always falling down the edges and spilling over. So. I'll do that. Another reason that I wanted to do this is that I've got a bag of compost basically over to the right over here um, and this is from when we moved house. Uh, it's been here a little while. 
few months. It's essentially all the old compost from the plants and flowers and stuff that we had in the garden. Um, so it needs some rejuvenation. This, oh my god, this is a lily, I think, that we had basically killed in the garden. <laughs> it was completely dead and somehow it's come back to life in this compost pile covered over no light or anything. Incredible, yeah, so I wanted to kind of spread that out throughout the rest of the pile as well. So as we get deeper into the compost and you expect it to get nicer and nicer, uh, let's have a look at what's actually happening. In terms of moisture, there's some areas that are absolutely soaking wet and quite smelly. There's other areas that are bone dry, so it's a, it's a highlighting why uh, this is a good activity, um, balancing out those areas. And in here we have kind of a, a mixed picture. Some of it's okay, there's some really big bits of wood. But the real nasty stuff is this. There's this kind of, well, there's some plastic in there as well. But um, it's this kind of matted grass that came up from the undersides of the netting and the carpet and that kind of stuff. And I thought this would start breaking down because, I mean, it's just grass, it's kind of a straw-like texture, but it's just done nothing whatsoever. Um, I think I'm gonna put most of that to one side some of it's going to be sprinkled in because I think it will degrade eventually, but yeah, other than that, it looks okay. There's some bramble regrowth, and that's what you've seen going into this bucket. Most of this is brambles with a few big uh, root balls of plants and that kind of thing. So, yeah, unfortunately, the further down I get, the more of this I find, just the horrible massive root balls and this kind of compressed wood stuff that was on the underside of the mat, so it's a bit disappointing. So, yeah, no potatoes, pretty rubbish results. I mean, the good thing is that it's not sopping wet. You know, it's not an anaerobic situation where it's all gone moldy and horrible. So I think it's just taking a long time to break this grassy stuff down, basically. Um, but yeah, lots of stems, lots of wood. So it'll be a while before we have usable compost, I think. But could be worse. So, there we have it. Compost pile finally done. Been talking about it in like every video uh, for the past month, probably, saying, oh, you need to do this compost pile, get that sorted. Um, but yeah, it's finally done now, which is great. So, that's me done. Um, you know what to do. If you like the video, hit the like button. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the bell icon if you want those notifications. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed today's little update. Like I say, I've not been up as much as I would like because of the hay fever and this weekend, I mean, I could really do with a proper weekend up here, tending to everything, sorting out all the weeds. But this weekend we've got to move all of our stuff into storage, all the stuff that we have had in the garage, that, that has now fallen through. So we've had to hire a self storage place and that's what my weekend holds. So yeah, I hope you had a good week. <laughs> um, maybe better than mine. Um, yeah, hopefully. See you again next time. Ow.